I will be reading from The Dirt by Motley Crue. Uh, this section was written by Tommy Lee. Hi, I said. Hi, she replied. It's nice to meet you. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs> that was it, dude. That's all we fucking said. It was brief, it was awkward, and it fucking changed my life. Um, the chick was Heather Locklear, and the guy who introduced us was my accountant, Chuck Shapiro. He knew Heather because his brother was her dentist. Uh, I thought about her again a week later when I was flipping through the TV and saw an episode of Dynasty with Heather in it. Uh, he called his dentist brother and hooked me up like a true friend. <laughs> the next afternoon, I took a deep breath, kicked my feet up on the couch and called her. My TV was on mute in the background, but as we made uncomfortable small talk, I saw her face appear on the screen in The Fall Guy. Uh, I took it as a sign that we were meant to be. Um, <laughs> hey, turn on your TV, I told her. You're on Channel 4. Uh, she flipped on her set. Uh, she informed me, that's actually Heather Thomas. <laughs> I wanted to hang up right then, grab a gun, and shoot myself in the fucking head. Uh, she took pity on me and suggested we meet anyway that Friday night. She wasn't the kind of chick that I could take back to the van like Bullwinkle or have group sex with in a jacuzzi like Honey. No. <laughs> She was a real woman, a good girl, and more famous than me. Uh, three things that I'd never experienced on a date before. Oh, I was nervous as shit beforehand. I primped myself in the mirror for hours, popping zits, combing my hair, fussing with my shirt collar, dabbing cologne strategically around my body, and making sure that all my tattoos were covered. Uh, I buzzed the doorbell. At the top of the staircase, I saw a white dress, and she descended slowly without a word, like in Gone with the Wind. <laughs> we went to some lame stand-up comedy because I thought it was something that normal people did on dates. Uh, that night, we talked about everything. She had gone out with a lot of uptight rich guys and cheesy actor types like Scott Baio. Uh, But she'd never been with a rocker. Uh, I could tell this was a point in my favor after she asked to see my tattoos. Uh, she was a good girl who fantasized about a bad boy, and I knew that even my starch collar and Dracar Noir cologne <laughs> couldn't cover up the fact that I was a bad boy. <laughs> but I was too scared to make a move. We slowly started hanging out more, going to dinner, movies, parties, but she would not put out, dude. Uh, I'd get her drunk and try to mack on her every way I could for weeks, but she wouldn't go all the way. Yeah. After a month and a half, I was so worked up that I couldn't take it anymore. We finally fucked, and she had made me wait so long that I savored every second, because believe me, it only lasted for seconds. Uh, But we did it again and again that night until we were sure that we were in love. Uh, <laughs> because when you are with somebody that you don't love, once is usually enough. <laughs> After we fucked, the relationship flew to a whole new level. We were slowly realizing that we wanted to be together for a long, long time, maybe even forever. Uh, when the tour ended, we married in a courtyard in Santa Barbara. Rudy, one of our tech guys, gave us a toast. To Tommy and Heather, he said, raising a champagne glass. May all your ups and downs be in bed. Uh, <laughs> then he took the champagne glass and smashed it over his head. I glanced at the table where uh, Heather's family was sitting, and they all looked like they were having second thoughts. <laughs> Tommy Lee. <laughs> 